So previously, when I was trying to find a solution to the overheating MacBook in Windows, I said that you should change your power setting to Power Saver, which would reduce your CPU performance and save energy and create less heat because your CPU was running at a slower speed. But then I found that I needed some or full CPU power to run some of my programs. And now I found another way that you can actually control the fan on your Mac and this will work for any Intel Mac probably before the current generation because this program is somewhat old and has been updated in a while. So first you go to this website on SourceForge and I'll include the link in the description and you download it. And then I would suggest just make using this easier because it is a command prompt based program. You should extract it directly into your C drive. So just leave drive C here. And I've already extracted it, so I'm just showing there. And then what I would do is I would find a command prompt program. Just search CMD inside the start menu. I copy and I paste it on the desktop first. So what's important is that in order to use this program, you have to run the command prompt as a, an administrator. So go to compatibility, run this program as administrator, and just check that. And now, open your C drive and copy that command prompt in. I already have a copy in here because I've been using this program for a while. And to make everything easier, you can create some type of shortcut. If it's XP or Vista, you can use Quick Launch. On Windows 7, just put it onto your bar. So basically, how this works is you open your, you launch your command prompt. It will ask you for to continue because you are running as an administrator. And then, since everything is in the C drive, you don't have to change the directory of the command prompt anymore. You can just run the program. So you type in mac fan.exe and then if you are using a single fan system like my MacBook, you type in one fan speed. Like let's say four thousand. Now it will change the fan speed to four thousand. And it'll tell you current fan speed which is above four thousand because I'm using Camtasia and it's overheating the computer. But what's great about this is that on other fan control programs like Lubo's fan control, they haven't figured out how you can run bootcamp.exe and the program at the same time. This one you can just, it says it restarts the program and you can see two icons in this area. All I have to do is move your mouse over it, it changes back to one icon. You can still do everything with bootcamp, like change volume and whatever. And this will work if you put your computer to sleep and you come back. It will. You just have to run it again. It will change the fan speed again. And it's a great program. So this is the final solution for overheating Macs and Windows.